I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on rate of change. In this particular video, we will use a general method which is called difference quotient method to find instantaneous rate of change. You can reach many of my videos by searching Anil Kumar rate of change playlist on this topic. The question here is, the distance traveled by car is given by d of t equals to 160t square plus 20t, where t is measured in hours and d in kilometers. Find velocity when t equals to 15 minutes. You can see that there is a change in units. We are talking about time in hours. Here we have given it in minutes. So as soon as you see that, first thing is you should think about time in terms of hours, which will be 15 over 60 hours. Is it okay? So this was minutes, right? So you can say uh, one hour is equals to 60 minutes. Is it okay? So you get one-fourth of an hour. Some of you may like to write 0 0.25 instead of 1 over 4, which is not a good practice. Imagine if I write this as 20 minutes, what do you get? You get a recurring decimal, right? So fractions is better. First thing to learn. Okay, now let's find velocity at t equals to this. So instead of finding velocity at a particular time, I will write a general solution here. We call this method as difference quotient method. So it's a general method. We'll substitute time later. So as you know, velocity is a rate of change of, uh, in this case, we are using this term distance. So we'll say rate of change of distance, right? So let us say rate of change of distance means we can find at t plus some distance h minus at t, right? So we divided by change in time, which is t plus h minus t, is it okay? Which you could write as d, t plus h minus d of t divided by h. When we really want to find instantaneous rate of change, then the two points which we are considering, they are very close. And we say h is very, very less as compared to 1. So they are very close. Those of you who are working for similar examples in calculus like to use the term limit. So let me just write here. h approaches 0, right? So that is kind of same as writing this. So you should consider both as kind of similar things, right? So let's now begin by finding these two functions. We are given d of t equals to 160t square plus 20t. I replace t by t plus h, right? So we get uh, 160 t plus h whole square plus 20 t plus h. So that gives me the first function dt plus h minus d of t is same thing, right? So we'll be writing 160t square plus 20t, perfect, divided by, by t, h. Now this is equal to, let's open the bracket, 160, expand this term, t square plus 2th plus h square plus, this gives us 20t plus 20h minus 160t square minus 20t divided by h. So if you're doing the same example for calculus, you keep on writing this limit h approaching 0. Is it okay? Now from here you can see these two terms will cancel. So this times this and 20t with 20t. Correct? So you're left with, let me open the bracket now, 320th plus 160h square plus 20h over h. So we can take h common. So we get h 320t plus 160h. We also taken one of these h common plus 20. Is it okay? Over h. 
you can cancel H and H. So that is the expression for us. Now, at this stage, what we know is that H is very, very small as compared to 1. Those of you who are working in calculus may think like this, limit H approaching 0. So if you substitute 0 here, we get rid of this term. So what you get here really is 320T, I mean 320T, plus 20 is okay so that becomes a general expression for velocity so let me now you can find velocity for any time t till this equation is valid right now in our case what do we need to find at t equals to 15 minutes or one fourth of an hour so for us the velocity at t equals to 15 minutes is equal to 320 times i'll use one fourth does it make sense? It's easy, right? Plus 20, correct? Okay? One fourth of this is 80, so 80 plus 20, which is 100. Units are kilometers per hour. So any word problem, you have to include units in your solution. Is that okay? So that is the answer for us. Please go through this solution once again. We have provided you with a general solution. You could have done faster by substituting the value 0.25 here right in the very beginning and uh, and calculating uh, the result but we'll do that in some other videos here the emphasis was to understand difference quotient method and appreciate the technique which can also be used in calculus i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to write your comments. And if you like them, I'll greatly appreciate. Thank you and all the best.